Today I thought I'd give another perspective on my box openings here. Uh, and I've got another uh, uh, package and something I think is going to be really interesting to me. Uh, you know, I've dealt with a lot of shovels and diggers. It's just sort of the, the natural illness progression from metal detecting to diggers or diggers to metal detectors, but it's kind of an odd. It's kind of an odd conversion. But let's say metal detecting to diggers. And I was looking at shovels, and uh, you, you've known, and if, you, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I like to coast those shovels. I've been giving away a couple, I believe, in the contest. Still got, uh, still got one, coast steel shovel. It's a very good shovel for me, but, you know, it is a, it is a one, it's an intact shovel. It is just, it, that is the shovel. The entire length is the shovel. There is no fold, there is no portability. Uh, there is no portability besides, uh, since it is sharp. Uh, sticking it in the uh, sheath in effect so this promises to be a combination of the shovels of uh, folding shovels I like and the potential for a steel shovel type uh, uh, function in a more portable form so that's why I really got this to sort of encompass the two things I like so much portability and the the the, the structure and strength of the of the uh, of the cold steel shovel so uh, here we go this is once again you know I've said before there's a fascination in this country and I don't know if it's in other countries uh, in uh, adapting the military hardware of former uh, if not foes let's just say former uh, former if not present uh, uh, what is it rivals in the world uh, it may not be as much a rival of power, military, as much as financial, political, and international other types of power struggles, but they still exist. So, uh, you know, uh, you, you, we have great love for this, the Spetnaz equipment, uh, which I believe is the uh, Russian, uh, the Russian, uh, not the secret police, the Russian uh, special forces. Uh, so we got a great love of those stuff, and that's that's all over some of our sales of some of our uh, camping equipment and other camp equipment that's roughly related to camping equipment. And now we've got the uh, the Chinese, uh, which who are the manufacturer quite a bit of the shovels and things I've shown you, uh, and very good quality products. And this is one of the products of theirs, or it is a, it is related to, or they say it's related to some old uh, uh, Chinese military equipment. So that's, we'll take that for what it's worth. Anyway, let's open up this box and let's take a look at it and see if it turns out to be what I thought it would be or will it, if it'll be returned rather quickly. All right. Here we go. China, Chinese uh, military shovel. All right, so. Once again, we go from a large external box to a small internal box, and we start the process again of taking it apart. Okay, here we go. Nice compact, nice compact uh, storage here. We take out this. It also comes with its own massive sheath, which is basically a backpack. Uh, for the folded shovel, and so well, I like that. All right, and it does come with its own. I don't know what this is? Oh, this is the sheath, basically. You just bring the shovel in through there, and uh, you just you know protect it, protect the uh, the top edge of the shovel. Chin Lin Spade. All right, let's take a look at this. And okay, maybe it, maybe I didn't make a mistake here. It uh, it does look much like a wow, that's pretty cool. It must it looks much like a folding version of the cold steel shovel. The length is a little bit longer, out folded and folded the the Chinese shovel than the cold steel, but it's only like a half an inch. That is pretty cool. Maybe the best purchase I've made so far, and it does. This this is this has a very sharp blades, 
you know, not not sharp enough to cut you. You could shape them like this, and they have it. It has an axe end blade, so you can actually use it like an axe using a heavier blade on this side. It has the serrations, of course, that a finger puncture good, and a bottle opener if you if you really need that while you're out, and some Chinese pictograms on the side, uh, and that is pretty cool. Now, I, it it has it has multiple. Oh, you can turn it into multiple uh, angles. See, because right now I can fold it up and find another, maybe another size, another, another way I want it. And then all of a sudden I've got a pick or a hoe. And I can I roll it back. Just the pick of the hoe, and I can I can even go even further here till it's back in this type of situation. I'm not sure what that would be, like a, a reaper spade or something. Like you could you could probably hack and dig that way. I wouldn't be too comfortable bringing a blade toward my toward me like that, but that is not bad at all. And the most important thing is this. Now I I carry when I go out. And I carry larger equipment. You know, I've, I, I, I have written a review of this bag. I'm not sure if it's going to precede or going to be after this review. But, uh, okay, that's what I've got. And that's not bad at all. Let's see if I can draw back a little bit and I can get closer. Uh, that's about as far as I can get back with this camera. But that is not bad at all. Now, the most important thing is this. Because I don't, because I like to carry my my blades uh, so I'm gonna reach over and grab but this is what I usually use to carry equipment when I'm carrying larger things and this is a uh, army style army uh, uh, a messenger bag army style messenger bag so okay that fits so I can carry the shovel over my shoulder wherever I need it to be so that's pretty cool now this I'm gonna be doing a review of this an actual in field review but I just want to uh, get it out do the box opening so I can make sure that I've uh, covered all my bases there and then I want to get it out in the field and this is this is sweet and uh, I do like the fact I don't know I'm a little old school I, I have a lot of shovels that are all metal I love those too but I also don't mind the fact that this one is uh, this one has a wood handle now wood handles will break but they can be replaced you just you know grab it, grab it, put another screw in there, slap it through, and voila! You might have to have it, uh, have it, uh, whatever the wood version of machine is honed or whatever you would do with wood, a uh, uh, router, routed or something like that. I'm not very familiar with woodwork. I'm more of a metal guy. In any case, uh, just wanted to show you this, and this is called the Chinese uh, military shovel, and. Uh, I get it where I got most of my stuff from Amazon, and uh, I think that's going to be handy. It is not light because it's a, it's a, this is a pretty sturdy mechanism. You know, it adjusts, and this this is big, heavy cast metal. You know how I like cast metal, so it's going to be interesting. It'd be interesting to see how how long it will last the wooden portion as you use it. But you know, wood always wears out. But I'm, I'm not going to be digging daily ditches. It's going to be a special purpose shovel. So voila. I like that. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna stop this and I'll stick it in. I'll stick it in one of the bags or the pouches, and we'll take a look at that real fast. So I'm gonna stop this one, and I uh, will be right back. All right, let's slip this uh, the little uh, the shovel. This is the cold steel shovel over here. Move it to the side, and let's just take it and we'll slip it in this bag. Just drop it in the bag. We ease it down a few a few swings. Voila. And then we just take this, bring it over the top, extend this, and voila, we now have a backpack, a backpack uh, camping or outdoor shovel. Uh, you can slap it on your back, just put it around your neck or something like that, and you can carry it that way. And this is just a single sheaf if you don't want to use that. I'm not going to go through that. This is the cool part right here. 
<laughs> if the other one's going to work pretty much the same. All right, uh, this is Texas Tiger Digs, and let me pop this out to so show you how it slides right back out. Ready to go. Anyway, it's Texas Tiger Digs again, and another uh, box opening, and something I'm going to review. Now, guys, yeah, I don't think I'm keeping all these things, because uh, several of them have already been redistributed to family members who, are, who either work outside or have car issues, but uh, the ones that I, the ones, the unique ones, uh, they're not leaving my possession until I test them, and I don't think this one's leaving my possession, period. And some of the others aren't either. Don't let me fool you. Anyway, this is Texas Tiger Digs, and I will catch you next time when I hopefully I'll have had more digs and more tools, a lot more digs, a few more tools. You guys have a wonderful day.